Hey guys, welcome back to Cool Guy Stuff with your man Mike, the cool guy. And today, I'm going to show you how to do a simple oil change. Okay, so the first thing to establish is the type of oil we need and type of filter we need. So this one, the cap actually tells us right here. It says SAE 5W20. All right, so that's viscosity of the oil we need for this vehicle. Every vehicle is different, and not always the cap says what it needs to take. Sometimes the caps are just blank, so consult your owner's manual to find out what kind of oil your vehicle takes. So the next step is the oil filter, so it's right here. This is a cartridge style filter on this vehicle. Sometimes cars have a canister style, I'll show you one of those in a minute. But the way you figure out what filter you need, you go into the supply store, the, the um, store to get the oil, the parts supply store, uh, you're gonna have to tell them that you've got a 2014 Dodge Caravan, for example, that's what this is, with a 3.6 liter V6. So that's the specific engine. You tell them exactly what you've got, they're gonna give you the right filter for your application. Here's a look at a canister style filter, like this, okay? So it's not on the top of the engine, it'll be usually on the bottom, and you twist these off. Okay, so I've got the oil and the filter that I need to do this oil change, also the quantity of oil, um, check your owner's manual, it'll tell you exactly how many liters or quarts or whatever of oil you need. Okay, the next thing to do is to use a jack and, uh, yeah, figure out your lift points by consulting your owner's manual. It'll tell you exactly where to place this to make sure it's safe to lift it. With the vehicle lifted up, the next step is to properly support it with jack stands on the frame. See? Right there. I personally like to use a piece of old carpet as a pad for when I'm working under a car. Okay, so the next step is locating our drain plug. So that's this guy right here. And you'll find this on the bottom of the engine. It's gonna be this pan. And this pan's full of your engine oil. And this plug holds it all in. What you need is a bucket. So this is a great one. It's $2 at the dollar store. Pick up one of these. So I've got my bucket here ready to catch the oil. And I've got my wrench that fits on with this drain plug. So now I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this. And it's gonna drop into there. Okay, so once you get that loose with the wrench, then it should be just hand tight. And you should be able to just untwist it with your fingers. I'm also wearing gloves because motor oil is yucky. Ha, ah, Ethan's here. I always got my buddy in the background. All right, so see how it's dripping like that? I'm applying force inwards so that this doesn't fall. Okay, and then once it's completely loose, I'm gonna pull it out. Okay, there you go, just like that. All right, so while that's draining, take a rag, wipe off the drain plug so you can set it off to the side, and we're going to go change the filter now. The size of the sockets required to get those out is pretty big, so I've got a giant socket set that goes up to like inch and three eighths. Uh, I think this is like 26, yeah, like pretty big. Um, and you're going to need in the large range for these. All different ones that I've seen are all pretty large and not in a standard socket set, unfortunately. Okay, so the size of this turned out to be is 15 sixteenths. On top of that, because of the location, I'd either have to remove this off there, which is not hard, or use a universal joint like this. So that's the route I'm going just because I have it. But yeah, bit of a pain in the butt. I'm going to push on that like that, right? This is flexible, so you can push on it. There we go. Okay, so now that I've got that loosened off, it's time to get my rag ready. All right, there's drain plug. Get that set up. Pull this out. Okay. All right, like that. There's a little rubber o ring on there. I'm dripping. A little rubber o ring on here. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys how to get that off. And inside here is the cartridge. So it just pulls straight out. All right. There you go. There's a cartridge filter. All right, so next step is to open up the box with our new filter. And first thing you want to do is check and make sure it's the same as the one that came out. Because if they're not, now's your chance to go and change this. All right, there should be a little O-ring on the ends of these. Get your finger wet with a little bit of oil, okay? And rub that oil on the O-ring. You want to make sure that O-ring is lubricated, all right? And then in the box should be a gasket or an O-ring that goes on this part here, right on there. And same thing. So, right. 
There it is. Hey, be careful getting into this. You don't want to cut this or rip it. All right, there's our new O-ring. So now, all right, you get this O-ring wet with some oil as well. Okay, and what I'm gonna do next is get this off. Now I'm gonna use a little hook like this. If you don't have a pick like this, that's okay. The smallest screwdriver you've got, the smallest flathead you've got, the idea is to get in here and kind of hook that up like that, okay? And then you just kind of roll it around like this, and off it comes, right? Not too hard. Getting the new one on, just be gentle, all right? Slowly kind of roll it on. You just don't want to break it, okay? Worst case scenario, you can reuse the old one, but yeah, it's, it's a little finicky, and just try your best not to snap it. There it goes. I get that rolled on there. And you want it to seat in that ring, so you don't want it to be on the threads. Right, it's not supposed to sit on the threads. There we go. That's in, oil on it, great. Okay, next up, get this cartridge in, right? So you can, you can pop it into the cap like that, okay? And pop it into the hole, or the other way around, either one but you wanna make sure that this thing is seated in properly before you start screwing this in. It should go in hand tight at first. If it doesn't, something in here is jammed and you'll crush this filter. Okay, this is hand tight. Next thing, of course, is tighten this up with this. And you just want to get this to the point of it being snug, it will stop. It will literally hit a dead stop. And you don't want to go any more than that. It's only plastic. There it is. That's it. That's stopped. I'm not going to force it beyond that. Replacing canister style filters like this, you're probably going to need a filter wrench to get these off. They do stick on pretty, pretty tight. Or a gigantic pair of channel locks can get these on, off of there. Um, and then when you put the new one on, hand tight. Get it twisted on there, it threads on, and get it on there as tight as you can by hand only. Do not tighten it up with a filter wrench. Okay, we're back under the car, and by this point, you can see it's just dripping, and we're just gonna screw this back in. All right, and we'll snug that up with the wrench, and then we're gonna fill the oil. All right, next step, we're gonna open this up. Okay. And we're gonna put a funnel right on there. And now we've got our oil opened up, we're gonna pour that in. There you go. And that's the color that oil should be. Oil is supposed to be honey colored, not black. Look at that, nice fresh oil. Right, we're on to the final step. So, after this has been filled with your engine oil, you then check it using the dipstick. So first thing, you're gonna take it and you're gonna wipe off any old oil all right, reinsert the dipstick all the way, okay? And then check your level. And it will say on the dipstick somewhere, it'll have this cross hatching kind of thing. It'll tell you the range that you should be in for your oil. If it's not in that range, you got a problem. Either add more or drain some out, all right? And it's that simple. That's all there is to it. Wipe it off every time you check it. And uh, yeah, you're back on the road. Successful oil change. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I had a good time doing that oil change. It went flawlessly. I didn't spill any oil, which is always good. So give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it too. And be sure to subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you have any questions about your own oil changes or on other car maintenance, please leave a comment. I will do my absolute best to answer whatever you guys leave me. Thanks very much. See you next time with Cool Guy Stuff.